hi guys noah here and in this video i'm going to make a review about high pc okay which is intelligence prime capital some people have some concern as to whether ipc is legit or it's a scam and they don't really have uh enough details to be sure whether it's actually legit or not so in this video i'm going to actually make uh some reviews and i uh, will try to do some research and i'm going to show you what my research is and at the end of the day you'll be the one to decide whether it is legit or not based on our findings okay so uh no investment has come with some risk and you should take note of that and when it comes to forest trading past performance does not guarantee future results so we are going quickly going to do some things now which i think is necessary the first one is we want to find out if they really really take the trades okay those trades that have been successful do they really take do trades we can actually trace it to know whether they take the trades or not first secondly we look at their certifications all the certificates they have if it's actually real or if it is fake thirdly we'll be looking at my fs book and in my fs book we look at the success rate they have and all their data since the time they started and of course we will still be able to get the date they started their first trade up until now and we can actually track their record to see if they are scam or not so at the end of the video i'm going to give you a bonus and the bonus is going to be if you have a platform that is so much appealing to you and you are scared probably because you don't know whether they are legit or scam there is a strategy we use to invest in such platform so if that is something you want to know then watch this video to the end so without wasting your time i will take you over to my phone and very quickly we are going to do carry out all these tests okay very quickly so i'm already on my phone and of course the first thing i want to do is to log into ipc and the reason for doing that is i want to show you my balance first so that you can see how much i have my mt4 then i go back to mt4 and then you are going to see that it is true so i've heard from referral commission and uh, this is how much i have i have my referrals and i have my referral link uh of course i'm a senior manager and um, because if I increase my deposit now, I'm going to become a department manager. Now I have 2,652.3. Now take note of this MT4 trading capital amount. Okay, let's go and check my MT4. Let's see whether I'm going to get the same amount. Okay, 2,653. Okay, so let's just go there. I'm already on my MT4 and uh, I want to click on my charts. Okay, so come here, as you can see, 2,652.3. That's just exactly what we have in the IPC MT4 wallet. Okay. So that means this is correct, okay? And this is my today's trade, okay? This is my trade today. Uh, $35.81 is what I made today uh, with this balance I have right here. Okay, now let's go over to, let's go over to uh, uh, MT4, the software, and let us go and trace whether uh, this trade is actually taken truly or if it's not taken. So uh, IPC does not have a uh, software. They don't have a forest software but you can actually log into uh, any of the available uh, software of other brokers okay so like fstm is one i use and then i'm go just going to log out i've logged out from my fstm account and uh, i log in with my ipc capital uh, username and password okay so i log in with my ip capital details okay so during the login process you actually have to just uh select your broker i select intelligence prime capital i put in my login details and then i've been able to log in and if i show you my trades you can see 2652.3 okay and you can see my name uh attention one noir and this is intelligence prime capital you can see that already and it's showing my my balance so uh this is exactly the account i've logged in uh with using fstm software i log into ipc using fstm software and my balance is exactly what i just showed you both from ipc and also on my mt4 now coming to trade this tree right here you can see the profit i've been making and then you can see the trades that have been taken now you can see the time they are taking okay this is first of february 2022 first of february 2022 the three trades that were taken then on the second you can see second of february 2022 second the three trades that were taken and then on the third you can see third of february 2022 third of february these are the three trades that were taken and that's exactly what i have in my mt4 app as well now if you see this time now want to use let's just take this third of february trades we have euro euro then aud okay so i have my hero chart here and it is five minutes chart okay so i can change it to 15 minutes or 30 minutes if i want it doesn't really matter it's just a time frame okay so i i have the euro here i want to add the uh, aud to it as well okay i want to add aud to it as well okay so i want to move it to 
to the side of the euro okay because we'll be using the two if you see the two trades that were taken on this day were usd euro usd and AUD. so i want to click on charts i want to expand it okay uh zoom it back let me zoom it again okay so i want it to move to the back yeah so i have it so now uh, i want to change this to 15 minutes charts okay so uh this first one is uh euro usd uh this is on the third this is the first day that was taken euro usd okay so and then i'm just going to drag it to the charts drag it okay so you can see now it's showing the trade already but it's very small let me put it to five minutes okay so i can scroll back now going back right there okay I've, i think i've passed it oh so i have it right there okay that has gone back let me go back again okay i have it right here now let me let me quickly measure the number of pips so we enter a buy trade right here and it was executed and we come out of it right here this is just two pips 2.3 pips okay 2.3 pips so they just enter the trade in seconds they are out with just 2.3 pips it took the profit so that trade was taken that's euro usd now the second trade is also on the third and that's by ccm and so euro usd again we drag it up and drop it on the chart and uh Okay, let me just see where it is. Okay, let me scroll. Let me scroll to the side. Okay, let me scroll to the side. Okay, we have it here. So let me just pick it. You can see this is now set. This one is red. And then it's just 2.2 pips. This is just two pips, guys. Two pips. The first one is showing blue and the second one is showing red. So the first one that is blue is buy and the second one is red. Now you can see the third one is also sell. And this one is AUD USD. So I click on AUD USD. And I'm going to drag it to the charts, okay? AUD USD. I drag it to the charts, okay? And you can see right here, but it's very small. Let me put it to five minutes as well, just like I did in the previous one, okay? So I'm going to scroll back right now to see. You can see we have it right here. Let me just measure the number of pips, okay? So measuring the number of pips, this is just 1.3 pips. This is just one pips, 1.3 pips. So they actually took these trades, and you can see my balance is still the same with what I have on the software and what I have on the app. What i have on ipc wallet everything is fine so this is exactly what i have in my balance so they took those trades that's the first thing we want to do the second one is the certification okay so we are going to go and check out their pdf uh which is actually which actually talk about everything about them and uh, that's what i just want to reload now from google drive okay so i want to select the english language and right here let it just load what we want to do first is if you want to know their address they have their address right here just copy the address and put it on Google, okay? Google is going to give you, they are going to tell you the number of companies that are actually registered with this address. So, IPC registered their, uh, uh, their business with that address. So, here we have risk disclaimer for tra forex trading and they actually are telling you that past performance uh, does not indicate future results, does not guarantee future results, which is actually what every forex trader knows. So, the world's largest financial uh, market, Forex. And uh, right here, you know that Forex actually have trillions of trade per day uh, it's a very big market and it has millions of us dollar trades per day and it's actually a very large market we are very much aware of that so uh markets uh, forest markets and right here we have a uh, low threshold high liquidity high transparency convenient transactions 24 hours operations and uh, if i scroll to the side you can see good transaction volume flexible leverage two-way transactions and these are some of the uh things that come with forest trading so how to choose the right trading you can trade personally for yourself there is personal trading you learn forest trading and you are trading yourself there is copy trading where you follow uh someone that is an expert and then there is ai trading using bots now intelligence prime capital limited company provide now we are not interested in the provider as such you can take your time to read that but we want to read about horse okay intelligence prime capital limited is that Intel ip capital is a canadian company that has obtained a regulatory license from the canadian financial regulatory agencies we also built a digital asset management license in 2021 ip capital will officially launch our global product and digital asset trading platform providing global users with a one-step diversified financial service platform so our hair analyze trading system Okay, so this is what they are all about. They have an AI bot that actually analyze trading systems and uh, they trade forex and uh, uh, indicatives for you. So that is what this is all about. So that is exactly what they do, and you can take your time out to read this. So they have the, the bot has 97% win rate, success rate, 27% success rate. So they are in 10 countries currently, and you can see the countries right here. 
Okay, so 10 countries uh, are in the United States, in the United Kingdom, in Canada, in Singapore, in Hong Kong, in Taiwan, in China, in Nigeria, in Cameroon, and in Ghana. Okay, these are 10 countries where they are currently and they are thinking of expanding. Okay, so uh, let's quickly go to their certificates, the certificates they have, and let us confirm whether these certificates are true. Now, I've taken my time how to actually check each of these certificates and I see that they are actually true. I will not be wasting your time trying to confirm how this is done, but this is how you actually do uh, research on all of these certificates. <clears throat> I'll just quickly show you how you can do your research first, okay? You just go to Google and any certificate they have, just type in the name of the certificate, okay? And then Google will bring a website for you where you can confirm the details of all of these certificates. I've done that personally and of course you can do it as well. I'll just try to confirm one of the certificates and you can do the process by yourself to see how it is. Now look at this one we have here. This is FinTrack and this is Financial uh, you can see right here financial transactions and the report analysis center of canada you can type it to google it will bring their website for you okay so and the details they have on the certificate you can just put it right there and you'll be able to confirm it so you can see it's going to bring a website like this and uh, you can either click on this link to take you right there uh, but you might think oh this link maybe they are the one that the doctor it themselves just go to google type in these details and it's going to bring this website for you and then you put in their m, m msb registration number and it's going to bring all of these details for you it's going to show you their address it's going to show you that this is intelligence prime capital and what they have right in the certificate is what you are going to have so just do a simple google search for the website put in their their details and it's going to bring out their name so this is all your money service business intelligence prime capital this certificate as well if you want to see it now just go to their to the website type it to google okay when you type it to google you are go it's going to bring the website then just use the name, just type intelligence prime capital and then it's going to bring the details for you now this financial crime this us uh financial and you see the link here for the fin track there is a link here you can also click to see the certificate that you got okay so this is fin track registry uh, search so uh that's the website so the next one is the us digital asset regulatory license that they have and uh this is also you can type in digital asset regulatory uh, uh this the us uh, digital asset regulatory license to google okay so it's going to bring out the website and you can click on it and the details they have here this their login details they have their mbs regulatory details right there so le let me let me just click on the link uh, let me come and paste the link right there and let me just search for it okay so instead of pasting the link their own link you might think oh maybe they have doctored it or this is their website you can just go to google and search for that you can see an official website of united states government okay that's exactly the website let me show you it again let me just expand this for you so that you you see what i'm talking about okay you can see right here an official website of the united states government uh, that's fincen.gov so uh if you come here there is a particular way by which you can search here you can just put part of the details right here that's the first step just put part of the details and click on search if it doesn't bring the result for you then you can put more details and you click on the search button that's what you have right here that's the steps for searching on this website now if you want to search now it's asking us right here you can see msb registration number okay registration number and then legal name in the legal name we can put intelligence prime capital or we can go and look for their msb registration number so let's go and copy their msb registration number okay so i have it right here i want to copy i think i need to expand this let me just expand it okay i have it here. i just want to copy i click on copy so we go back right there okay and i want to paste their registration number if this doesn't bring their name then we'll input their name we just keep adding more details okay so we have it right here let me just go to the side uh you can see we have intelligence prime capital on the side right here you can see intelligence prime capital and you have their street address 1391 n spear built and then you have these details right there and uh, this is exactly what they have so uh you can see but this certificate in the website they say the inclusion of a business on the mba registration search web page is not a recommendation certification of legitimacy or endorsement of the business by any government agency so even though a business is registered with them it is not a guarantee that that business is legitimate okay but actually ip capital actually have this certificate and we have been able to confirm that so uh, i've confirmed every other the, uh, certificates they have and they are actually right now the question is are the certificates they have are they enough for them to operate as a broker that's another question different but all the certificates have been confirmed to be true now the next one is the mr walter steven and we have mr steven walter and uh, that is actually uh uh, uh 
uh, vice president like they actually said here but whether this is the picture of the person is another thing entirely so that's the ceo who we also have dr val ngsh that's uh, the cmo and uh, this is what we have right here and the hey high board system subscription the 20 dollar uh, we have the $20 here that we give you between 9% to 15% per month. The $40 we give you between 15 to 30%. And the $100 we give you between 30% to 45% per month. Okay, that's the package. And then the Hey High, Hey Board System Security Deposit. Uh, let me quickly talk on this. Now, when you deposit money into IP Capital, they are IP cap into IP Capital, then from IP Capital to your MT4, uh, when it reach MT4, 80% will be withdrawable at weekends. Okay? 20% of the fund will be locked. Now, you'll be using it to trade, but you will not be able to withdraw 20% until after three months. So, you have to take note of that. After three months, you can now withdraw the remaining 20%, okay? But the 20% will be used for trading, okay? It's not like it's going to be locked and it will be redundant. It's not going to be redundant, okay? So, that's just what this is all about. And then they have some mouth-watering bonuses, which I will not be explaining here. We are right here to see whether the platform is legit or not and we have looked at their certifications we have looked at whether they take the trades or not and we'll be able to confirm that all these are true okay so the next one we want to do is we want to go to my fs book and in my fs book we want to see ip capital we want to see the day they started the dates they started and uh, you can see home ipc bots okay and right here you have genius bot okay let me just close this advert here to continue to my fs book okay so i will click on that Okay, so we have uh, all of these results and you can see trading preview verified. So, uh, Intelligence Prime Capital, they have made a gain of 457.8% since they started and 33.73% uh, monthly and they have a drawdown of 0.95% which is less than 1%, guys. This is great. So, uh, uh, let's quickly see. Uh, this is actually updated 12 minutes ago. This was updated 12 minutes ago. Okay, so let's go down to see the charts since the day they started. Let's see the dates they actually start trading. Okay, so if I scroll down right there, you can see. Uh, let me go to the base. They have zero percent here. August 10 was the first day they started the trade. August 10, 2021, they have zero percent, and that was the day they started trading until they reached the level where they are now, which is 457. 0.8 percent profit guys and they keep going up so the bot is actually working fine and up to now is still working fine so i'm going to round up this uh review with this that i'm about to show you which is the bonus now if you see a platform and you've done your research and it's so appealing to you but at the end of the day you are still having some concerns as to whether this platform is legit or not and you are afraid maybe you might lose your money now there is a strategy you can use to invest we call it calculated risk now when you are doing calculated risk this is what you do uh, calculated risk is you know how much you are investing for the time period you are investing and when you want to get your money out now the fact that you are doing calculated risk does not mean you are not taking risk but it means you are actually you already know when to get out of the market you already know when to go in you know when to come out and of course if anything happens you are out already now this how do you do that you can decide to invest a big amount of money and know that if you are investing in IP capital, 20% of your deposit will be locked. Being locked does not mean you will not be using it. You will be using it to trade, but you will not be able to withdraw that 20% until after three months. Take note of that. Now, let's say you deposit $1,000 now and after 30 days, you get 45%. That's 450000 That Sorry, that's $450 on one thousand dollars okay so after that you can decide to say okay oh, i want to remove five hundred dollar from the money which is actually part of my capital okay you have reduced your risk by fifty percent okay so now you have nine fifty okay the four fifty you just made in one month plus the five hundred remaining that's four fifty uh, sorry nine fifty and that nine fifty you can use to trade the next month and you get around four hundred to four fifty profit again and then you can take out another five hundred or six hundred and by then you have taken out in two months you have taken out all of your capital uh, with some interest and then what is left there is the money it all depends on your comp plan the thing is what is your comp plan what is your mood of investment okay what's your concepts of investments and that's what you needed and that's exactly what i used to do and how i used to invest so on this note i'll be closing and saying to you see you in my next video and bye for now